Hello everybody, um, a quick not an unboxing this time, I took it out of its box earlier, nobody wants to see me taking things out of boxes, but I thought you might like a quick preview of the Merc Boy uh, Heretic uh, loot that I've just got from Kickstarter. Um, it's lovely. This is the player facing side of the judges screen. Let me just take you all along, showing you each of the icons in turn. Ah, lovely. I don't know what it all means, but I know that it's lovely. Ah, beautiful. And that is surely the two-headed basilisk, that one I know. I think I know. Anyway, there we go. That's the player-facing side of the judges' screen. The uh, GM side is, of course, as is quite proper in the world, yellow. It's very, very yellow. Don't look at that. Don't look at the man behind the screen. Um, so there are three or indeed four permanent faces. And then there are also little um, uh, inserts that can be fixed into the last two, um, the, the, the two end panels by oldie fashioned -y style photo corners in a couple of corners there. So here are 40 city events, for example, I turn it over and underneath you've got um, some NPCs and you also got the table of uh, obscurity. The table of what obscurity is that? Ochre obscurity. Oh, ochre obscurity. Check that out. Uh, D10 table that is. Um, uh, anyway, there we go. Um, that's 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 the judge's screen, and it folds down uh, to that. And that on the back looks lovely now um well let's get on to the chase here let's get mortborg heretic out it is of course yellow uh it's much the same as retri um beautifully designed on the inside lots of steel lots of metallic ink um oh, i don't know what it is what is it about these guys that know how to design so well uh yet another work of art Lots of stuff there. I uh, will flip through so you can't read this and have your adventures spoiled. But um, but yeah, lovely. Look at it. Lovely loveliness. All the loveliness in the world. Merc Boyer, you have spoiled us and changed the face of gaming forever. You're going to see more and more stuff like this, I think, um, coming out against companies now. And it burns, it burns with metallic flame. Um, okay, then the icon box. Now, I must admit, I got this on a whim, not knowing what was inside, not really understanding what was going to be inside. Um, and here they are, four profane, profound, age-old and nigh-forgotten folk gods are shackled within this box. Um... And we've got the Blecklieur, the Bilk Herd, the Old Dead, and the Silk Fiend. And um, again, we always like to make mock of Andy in everything we do. So Andy, I've got four little black books, like your treasured um, traveller books, and they've even... And they're made with red and white ink on the front. I'm just wondering whether uh, the guys at um, Stockholm Cartel have done this on purpose, that these are meant to somehow reference Traveller. Anyway, um, they're the four gods in their little box, which will come out at an appropriate time. Um, and that just leaves us with a bonus dungeon the uh, obituary dungeon, which is um, bigger than this screen will show, uh, but it's a comic, obviously, obviously it's a comic book, and um, yeah, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure something will go down here. Um, 
it looks lovely. And of course it is in pink and yellow and black, like all good things in the world. Uh, and so that is the end of this video.